Hi students, uh, let us continue with the HTML5. So in the previous video, I had explained some of the new attributes that we used in HTML5. Now let's see the form elements that we used in HTML or HTML5. So whatever the version we are taken, so in that what will be, what is this form element? Okay, so the different form elements will be there. So let me explain one by one. The first one is input element. Input element so how we can use this input element let me write that let me take one example input name so that is attribute name name is equal to first name and the type is equal to text so we in the text you have to write the first name so this is the one of the form element the form element is the input tag now let's see the second then the type of form element is select the element that is present in between the tags that element you call it as a form element it is indicating what type of form so here we are using the text form in the text form we are writing the uh, statement okay or the word and coming to the select element so select element it defines a drop down list whenever you mentioned a select in the tag it indicates nothing but it's a it defines a drop down list select means in the drop down list you need to select so here whenever you click here some some list will be appear so this represents the uh, with the help of this select tag it's a drop down list now let's see example for this select statement how we use this select let's take the select tag it's a form element select name is equal to let's take uh, i'm taking the fruits so whenever i click the fruits okay so this is a drop down menu whenever i click this by using the select command here I, I have to write the values for this drop down list so for that you have to write option option value is equal to let me take the first one is apple apple so here in the drop down list apple will be appeared apple close option tag and next option option so here I am entering the values for the drop down list. So what whenever I click that a drop down list will be appear by using the select command. So whenever I select the fruits a drop down list will be appeared. So in the drop down list you have you need to enter the values. So for that you have to use the option option tag option value is equal to apple and whatever you have written here this this uh, state word will be appeared in the drop down list option value is equal to let's take mango m a n g o close the option tag so here in the drop down list mango will be appear in the same way option value is equal to let's take orange close option tag. so in the drop down list orange will be and finally you need to suppose if you, uh, you enter all the values just close this select tag so this is how you have you will use this select tag so this is one of the form form element the form element one is the input element and next is the select now let's see another thing that is the third thing let me take the text area text area so this is also one of the form element so this defines a multiple line input field so here you need you can enter a multiple lines uh, it's a just displays a text area in this text area you can enter multiple lines so for address you will take the multiple lines like that so let me explain the example text area is a form element text area name is equal to let's write here message 
okay so this message consisting of rows how many rows i can i can enter in this text box and how many columns i can use it so that you have to mention in this text area row is equal to let's take 10 rows and columns is 30 columns so up to 30 columns you there is a choice for you to enter the text after that it skips to the next row so up to 10 rows so this is the limit so for this text box you can enter a message for rows 10 and the columns 30 okay so let's take some of the message like the dog playing in garden so this message will be appeared here after that try to close the text area so whatever uh, whatever you want to print on the text try to write in between this text okay this text tag rows columns after that write the message and close the text area now let's see the sec another form element that is the button button element so what's the syntax for this button element uh, so the button example so in the here you need to write the button button type is equal to button so whenever you mention the button type is equal to type is equal to button a button will be appear in instead of text area a button is appeared on the screen so for that you have to write the code so what this button has to perform operation when it has to perform operation when on click so whenever you have to click on that button a message will be dis appeared on the screen that is alert alert hello world will be appeared on the screen and so in the button so what name it has to uh, that has to be displayed on the button so that is the let me take click click me so here you need to write whatever the message that has to be appeared on the button that message you have to return here and close the button tag so the message that has to be appeared on the button that message will be read right here so whatever you have written that will be appeared on the button so what operation it will perform whenever on click it alerts when some message will be appeared that is a hello world will be appeared on the screen so let's see some of the html5 uh, so these are all uh, form tags form elements that we used in html as well as html5 and some more form elements that we used only in the html5 is data list so the data list view uh, is a new form element which was introduced in html5 data list it specifies a list of predefined options it specifies a list of list of predefined options so that's the use of this data list so let me write the syntax for this for an input element let's take example so i'm writing here a form action is equal to let's take uh, any of the file a.php now input list is equal to browser i'm writing a code how this uh, data list element we used input list now coming to data list id is equal to browser so just like a select tag just like a select tag here the data list id is equal to browser here i am writing some options option value is equal to let us take internet explorer option value is equal to firefox option value is equal to let us take opera okay and close the data list as well as the form tag 
so this is how you are going to use the data list element so the data list element specifies the predefined options so these are all the predefined options that will be specified on the browser so the id browser in the id browser you are having the options like internet explorer firefox opera everything will be appear and coming to the next element that we used in this html5 is the output element output element so it represents the result of calculation output element is nothing but it is used to represent it represents the result of a calculation okay so this is about our uh, different form elements that we used in html and as well as html5 thank you